Hello and welcome everyone. In this episode, we will review a new feature in Dynamics 365 Supply Chain Management. It is called Maintain Vendor Bank Information Using Vendor Collaboration Workspace. This feature allows vendors to log in to their vendor collaboration portal and add bank details that can be used by accounts payable personnel to make wire transfers or any payments. First, we will make sure that the feature is enabled from Feature Management Workspace. In the next step, I'll make sure that the vendor user is set up with proper permission to be able to update bank information. Here is my vendor user. I'll make sure that it's assigned to vendor admin and vendor contact external roles. One change that you will have to make is to assign an additional privilege so you will not get an error when the vendor opens bank details section in the vendor collaboration portal. For that, I'll select a vendor admin role, for example, click on duties, and make sure that you assign this new duty called view sensitive vendor bank account information to that role. Otherwise, if you don't do that, the vendor user will get an error. Once that is done, we will go to our vendor. This is a vendor 1001. Click on it, click on bank accounts. And here we have set up a bank account, but it's missing routing information, bank account number, suite code, and a bunch of other fields that are relevant for making a payment to that bank account. But we have created that bank account, and now we would be waiting for a vendor to update the details for it. And now let's switch to a vendor role. Here I'm logged in as the vendor user. I will click on vendor information workspace, click on more details, and click on bank information. Here I will see the bank accounts that were set up by accounts payable person inside the company. And in order for me to provide details, I would click on documents button right here. Here I can make attachments, either file attachments or simple notes to provide needed details. So let's click on new. And let's say I will select a note and call it wire details. Once I have entered relevant bank account details, I can close this form. And now I see that I have made a document attachment to that specific account. Now let's switch back to accounts payable role inside the organization. Now I will use a new inquiry screen that would allow me to view those attachments. For that, I'll navigate to accounts payable, inquiries and reports, vendor reports, and here I have a new vendor bank account inquiry screen. I'll click on that, and right away, I'll see that this account number has a single attachment. So it's really up to me as an accounts payable clerk to go to this inquiry screen and review details provided by vendors from time to time. So let's click on account details here. Here I see the bank account details provided. So I can just copy those. I will click on the vendor account click on bank accounts, and I would be able to populate that info right here. So now I have updated bank account details, and I can close that form, go back to my inquiry screen, and mark that account number as review. Once I do that, it will disappear from the list of my vendor bank accounts screen, and I can move on and review any other bank account details provided by other vendors. That is all I wanted to show you today. I hope you find that feature useful. I think this is a step in the right direction. It allows vendors to provide details that can be reviewed by accounts payable personnel inside of the company and update the bank details accordingly so the wire transfers or payments using any other method can be made or any services provided. I hope you enjoyed it. Until the next time, take care.